and welcome to January's top tip from At Heathers. This month we're going to be showing you how to eliminate flakes. No, not that sort. The ones that drop into your paint as you get further down the tin. This is a particular nuisance with paints that dry quickly, such as Annie Sloan chalk paint which we use here at Heathers. You can see the flakes here where the paint has dried, just easily flakes off, falls into your paint. All you need is a purchase from a local pound shop. Three pots for a pound, a marker pen and a couple of baby wipes. The pots are ideal. They fit nicely in your hand much easier than holding a large paint pot and I find they hold enough paint for me to paint a coating on two on sometimes even three pieces of furniture depending on its size. That's usually enough for one session of painting. The marker pen I use to label so in this pot, I would put the duck egg paint. And finally, the baby wipes. Once you've mixed your paint, or as Annie Sloan suggests, just leave your tin upside down for 15 minutes. Decant some into your pot. I usually put about three quarters in so that I've got room to add water should I need to water it down. That's my active pot that I will now go and paint with. But this is where the problem arises. It's the paint on the Annie Sloan pot. It's going to dry, flake and drop into the new paint. So my first task is to get as much of the paint as possible off with my brush. I can still use that. Then, this is where the baby wipes come in. It's really important to wipe around the inner edge. You need to clean off as much as you can of the paint. Then, more importantly, it's around the edges here that it's going to dry and flake from. So just run your wipe around the inside. That should eliminate paint drying, flaking into your nice new paint and spoiling your finish on your products. But don't forget, your paint lid also has some paint around it. So that also needs a wipe off. Now I know some of you are looking and saying, that's a bit wasteful really. I'm not cleaning all the inside of the lid. It's just the edge bit. But I find it's far easier to waste a little bit now than to ruin a finish on a beautiful piece of furniture. The lid then, needs sealing back down firmly that goes back to storage and I now have my paint pot my active pot that I will do my painting from and what about the other flakes well there's always someone in the at Heather's workshop that's willing to solve that problem that's our top tip for January. We'll be back with another top tip in February. But in the meantime, should you need to contact us, do feel free to email, Facebook, or even tweet us. We look forward to hearing from you.